I know that you're just like me and do not want to hear a bunch of nonsense that you do not care about with a monitor. I'm just going to be really blatantly honest with you right now. Hopefully it's pretty clear that me being in a bathrobe just barely waking up means this is not a sponsored video. Um, this is really the main reason I got this thing is because having a monitor that is actually capable of tilting like that is pretty much unheard of at this at this amount. As you can see right here, it is running in 4K. You can also see it's running in 4K right here. I'm just quickly going to show you the settings that this thing has. How you get into the settings is you double click the little knob. So that's the first thing that I want to say I like about this monitor. It actually has that joystick of a... Uh, of a knob, just like the MSI OLED monitors that I have over there. So this is only LCD or IPS. It's, yeah, so it's an IPS display. It's nothing special. I'm gonna be honest with you, the main reason I got this monitor, please tell me it doesn't unplug, is because it actually allows me to adjust it this way so that I can actually um, do that. And then it also has height adjustable. Like it's fully like controllable. Now, I mean, it's not really a gaming monitor, uh, those over there are the 240 hertz OLED monitors. So um, I don't. I really just got this one because it was a really good uh, deal on Amazon. So go back into the settings here. It does have. When you first turn this on, it's going to ask you if you want to enable a power mode or a power saving mode. Which I'm guessing if you're getting a 4K monitor, you're not. You don't want to. Uh, whatever you you don't really care about that. So. Color is where you're gonna to go to increase the brightness. It is set at like 60 and then uh, 60 and, or it's it's like 80 and 70, I think. I cranked it all the way up. So I'm gonna go over here. I know it's crazy to think that somebody actually used it, but this is what you're gonna see at default. And I'm guessing they do this for reasons I doubt I need to explain. I'm sure that you're just as aware. So it doesn't look very good. But what I like about this monitor and the reason I crank the contrast all the way up to 100 is because it does not blow out the image. So the light, this is an 8K photo for everybody wondering why I have this set as the actual photo. So you see the light right there? It's not distorting the image. Like it's not blowing out the actual image. The light right there, it's not blowing out that area of the image. Like the reflections aren't on the water, aren't being blown out. Like I really like how it like it actually sets that. Uh, saturation is going to be set to 50. I like it at 65. And then the the color temperature is going to be set at this user mode. But I really like cool. Like I really like the way cool looks. I think that looks really nice. So the image, you can adjust the sharpness as well. I mean, I don't, I mean, the monitor looks, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful monitor. It really is. For for an IPS display, it's, it's actually crazy. It's only 4K, 60 frames per second, but it is whatever. So anyways, you, I mean, all these settings, man, this, this is really all you need to know. Like, you need to know that it doesn't blow out the image with the contrast or brightness cranked all the way up. I know that's something that everybody that's looking to get this thing is going to care about because I'm, I'm guessing... If you're looking to get this as well, you're probably getting it for that till and the and like the full adjustability of this. Um, like you know, like there's not very many monitors that have that por portrait mode. So, anyways, man, I highly recommend this thing.